Anybody can become angry, that is easy, but to be angry with the right person and to the right degree and at the right time and for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power and is not easy. Nothing is more active than thought, for it travels over the universe, and nothing is stronger than necessity for all must submit to it. Nothing exists except atoms and empty space, everything else is just opinion. It is hard to contend against one's heart's desire, for whatever it wishes to have it buys at the cost of soul. Medicine to produce health must examine disease, and music to create harmony must investigate discord. You shall, I question not, find a way to the top if you diligently seek for it, for nature hath placed nothing so high that it is out of the reach of industry and valor. I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. No man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. He who is of calm and happy nature will hardly feel the pressure of age, but to him who is of an opposite disposition youth and age are equally a burden. I only wish that ordinary people had an unlimited capacity for doing harm, then they might have an unlimited power for doing good. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. All human actions have one or more of these seven causes, chance, nature, compulsions, habit, reason, passion, desire. The ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. The very spring and root of honesty and virtue lie in good education. Worthless people live only to eat and drink. People of worth eat and drink only to live. When men speak ill of thee, live so as nobody may believe them. Even when laws have been written down, they ought not always to remain unaltered. There are two things a person should never be angry at, what they can help and what they cannot. Apply yourself both now and in the next life. Without effort, you cannot be prosperous. Though the land be good, you cannot have an abundant crop without cultivation. It is just that we should be grateful, not only to those with whose views we may agree, but also to those who have expressed more superficial views, for these also contributed something, by developing before us the powers of thought. The life of money-making is one undertaken under compulsion, and wealth is evidently not the good we are seeking, for it is merely useful and for the sake of something else. When you want wisdom and insight as badly as you want to breathe, it is then you shall have it. The one exclusive sign of thorough knowledge is the power of teaching. The learning and knowledge that we have, is, at the most, but little compared with that of which we are ignorant. One thing I know, that I know nothing. This is the source of my wisdom. 
True wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us.